Okay, here we go, bombshell commission suit. One step closer to trial after appeal rejected. Okay, and this happened a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to talk about this because agents are asking me left and right, what do I think about this and how this is going to affect the industry and all that stuff. Let me go on record and say right this second that this shouldn't be even in your stratosphere of what you're even thinking about or taking up any mental space in your mind whatsoever. The only thing that should be taking up space in your mind is getting more listings, helping more people buy and sell real estate, talking to your clients, figuring out exactly what it is they're trying to do and go help them do it. Do your weekly email, do your social media, make your calls, follow up, do deals, do business, build that snowball to the moon right now because the market's about to take off like a rocket. And if you don't get into gear and build that database up, you're going to get left behind. Then the market's going to explode. Everybody else is going to be selling properties that have been working this whole time, not worried about stuff like this. And you're going to think, man, I wish I would have worked a little harder back then when, when it was a great time to go gobble up market share. But listen, I digress on that because that's just how I operated. I didn't even realize that there was a stock market crash in 2008 in 2008. I was too busy trying to make a million dollars a year helping people buy and sell real estate. It's all I cared about. I, I ignored social media. I ignored all this stuff. I didn't read the news. I didn't watch the news. I didn't care about the news. All I cared about was building my business, and that's the focus you need. But let's dive into this for just a second, just so I can share with you uh, just another reason, not to mention the fact that you should just be building your business, but another reason why you shouldn't be worried about this. Number one, this is about a commissions debate of it's a group of owners that got together with some lawyers and said, hey, let's go try to make us a couple billion dollars on this. And it's absolutely ridiculous. What they're saying is, is that, as the seller, they shouldn't have to pay the buyer agent commission out of the commission that they agreed to pay the listing agent. You know, how, you know how dumb that sounds? That's like telling a contractor that came out and gave you a quote to roof your house that they have to get up there and roof that house. They cannot get a subcontractor to come out here and pay that subcontractor any money out of the money that you agreed to pay him to do that roofing job. It's the same thing. It'd be like telling contractors no more subcontracting whatsoever. This is a little bit different because there's a lot of work that happens on the front end, getting the, the listing. We negotiate the deal once the offer comes in from, as far as the listing agent goes. There's a lot of work with the listing agent versus subcontractor just oversees the job. There's a lot of work there as well. It, it's kind of the same. Right. There's a lot of similarities with those two situations. And what they're saying here in this lawsuit is that, oh, you can't do that. OK, well, you signed a listing, Mr. Seller, that said that you're willing to pay, say, six percent. OK, for me to go out here and sell this house. What do you care where that six percent goes or how I spend the six percent that you agreed to pay me if I sell this house? Furthermore, in my listing agreements here in Gulf Shores, Alabama, we have it in there how much the buyer agent's actually getting paid out of the total commission that you sign and agree to. And now all these years later, you want to come back and say, I don't think I should have had to pay that even though you agreed to it. But on top of all that, it gives the buyer representation. You want to take buyer representation away? I mean, what is the goal of this? You want to make billions of dollars, of course. I see that. It's probably all you care about at this point. But if you if this does go through, are you wanting buyers just not to be represented? Or are you just looking for a situation where you only have to pay 3% instead of 6%? Do you really think that's going to happen? Because, again... Another part of this lawsuit is antitrust, where they feel like we're fixing the prices. We're fixing the commissions. Commissions are negotiable. I negotiate my commission on every single deal. And guess what? I've had to be incredibly competitive many, many, many times. It's not easy uh, out here. Honestly, it's not easy in today's world to go out there and get the full 6%. I get it. I still get it all the time. But it's not easy. And it's not. I don't always get it. Um, there's a lot of times I have to take five, 4.9, 5.5. There's even times I've taken four and a half. There's even times for really close clients in certain situations, I've taken three and a half total. And I've gotten 1% and given the buyer agent two and a half. It's completely negotiable. And it, it, it is a, what, what is somebody willing to pay? 
right? And what is somebody willing to do the work for? And you see these discount companies come out um, and my clients will go try one of those companies out and come running back to me willing to pay 2% more because of the service. And um, anyway, when it comes to this lawsuit, it's just ridiculous. And so a judge uh, uh, denied an appeal uh, for this, and it's anywhere, it's Remax, it's Home Services of America, it's NAR, who else is it? It's uh, Keller Williams. All these entities are named in this lawsuit, and they put in an appeal to the judge, and the judge denied it. And that's not a red flag for this. That's not the judge saying, oh, I just don't feel... There's n at normally at this stage of of a of a trial, um, there's not the appeals don't go through this early. This isn't like a, oh man, I can't believe that got denied. No, this is what the normally there isn't an appeal this early in the process. Um, but it's going to be really hard for me to wrap my head around a jury saying, okay, you know, you know, pay the. And by the way, that this is a thirteen billion dollar lawsuit in damages that could get up to in the forty billion range. And these companies put together aren't worth more than $5 billion. It's like this This is just completely out of whack. The entire thing is just wild. Um, but let's say that for some weird reason, this thing goes through. Okay, what now? Nothing. Why? Because the market is the market and everything is negotiable. If you could go lower on commission, we would be lower right now. Um, if we take away the fact that the, that the listing agent can pay the buyer agent, that's okay. Guess what? Mortgage, uh, products came out 1% down from rocket mortgage and United, um, you know, for buyers in certain situations to help with affordability. Um, we came out with a 40 year mortgage to help with affordability. So you see mortgage products come out all the time to help people in certain situations. You don't think there's going to be a mortgage product come out if this were to happen, that figures that buyer agent into the loan. And then we're right back where we were. Everybody getting 3%, 3%, 6% total. And, um, the buyer getting the representation and the seller getting the same net that they got in the first place. So the case makes zero sense. Um, there's no merit to it, and uh, I think it's totally common that that the judge would um, deny an appeal this early on. He wants to he wants to hear out the whole thing and make sure that we're doing the right thing for the customers. And I'm going to stand by that, and we're going to be following this. I believe the next court date or the next you know thing that we're going to hear about from this is going to be in October. So I'm going to be following this, oh, and so as I get on. updates, I'll let you know what I come up with, and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys yeah. on the next video. Let's go.